Hello my peeps, this is Maya, broadcasting out the UK. <laughs> I had to breathe in there for a minute because I thought, I'm sorry, I don't know why I said it in that tone. Peeps! <laughs> How awful. Hello my darlings, here we go. So today is going to be another super hot day, so I'm going to try to keep this short as possible. <sighs> because I've got the windows closed. I have the door, as you can see behind me, open a little bit, just to see if a little bit of air gets in without the uh, super mm, humidity. It's the humidity that kills me rather than the heat. Okay, let's get on. I am thinking of doing another run, maybe a weekly run sort of, of English, German, Italian, USA soaps, finish whatever I have and then maybe a series of sticks as in all shaving sticks and things like that. So I thought this week it calls for a little bit of TLC and a little bit of luxury. So I'm starting off today with DR Harris Marlborough. Okay, and what does it look like for those in case you're new to this channel? This is a refill puck and it comes, well, not with the shaved off bits. I've shaved bits off. I don't lather mine in a bowl and then let it dry out. I keep it dry to shave bits off. I think it's far more hygienic and the soap keeps better that way also the scent if you keep it in its box. This one actually originally came in a bowl but I have the other DR Harris soap in the bowl currently. So that is why it's in this box even though it says shaving bowl. Oh, breathe Maya. So. As I said, I've shaved a bit off and you will see in a minute, I have it soaking in my lovely custom made suribachi scuttle. What is a suribachi scuttle? Well, the suribachi part of it is the inside. As you will see when we're lathering, it is um, got lots of ribbing. Let's call it ribbing. I don't know what else to call it. Grooves. There we go. Grooves. Almost like an LP of vinyl. Okay. And it has a stopper, which they normally don't come with. I have one that is not custom made without a stopper, but it's not a suribachi either. Those are the two bits that were custom made as well as the glaze. I asked for a brown and he added a bit of sparkle. Can you see the sparkle? He's added a bit of sparkle for me too. Um, so my custom made lovely Suribachi scuttle and the razor I am using today is the Edwin Jagger DE89 3D which I discussed just in the video prior to because I looked at all the English razors that I have. Should you have one that is more expensive and would want to loan it to me to test, I will look after it very well and only use it once and send it straight back polished and disinfected and sterilized, okay, as it should be. Okay, just so that you know, if there is somebody out there that would loan me one as, uh, for example, Flash Boredom can also confirm because he loaned me three of his razors, two vintage and also an Edwin Jagger, which had the normal knurling, not the 3D. Right. And what have blade do we have in here? Or well, I have the Wilkinson Sword German blade in there on its third use. I thought I haven't used this for quite a while, so let's use it again, or I think I haven't used it for quite a while. So let's get into it. Next to me, quote, flash boredom, I have a bowl with very cold Chilton's water. Okay. <laughs> cold Chilton's water. Ah, the Chilton's here are very close by. We're surrounded by the chalk. 
hills or the Chilterns here so the water is especially nice but it is very hard just so that you have a reference to my other videos when I do videos I sometimes or I did a series where I used half a gram of soap and seven and a half milliliters of water or one and a half teaspoons um, of water to mix it up that's because I have super hard water here a lot of lime scale Right, let's get going with the, oh, the brush. I have forgotten nearly the other star of the show. Let's press it out and shake it out. And that is the Yucky Ruby 24 millimeter dual band badger. I don't think actually it is worth buying anything other than a dual band because that is a step up from the pure badger and the silver tip is just gelled a bit more. Um, I can do my own gelling if I wish to do so. So there you go. Right. Um, which I have done on, on some of my brushes as a test, but I don't with these, it's fine. So here we go. Now you can see my scuttle. There is no water in the scuttle um, inside to cool it or to heat it, whichever way around you like it. Obviously not in the summer. You wouldn't put hot water in in the summer. In here I have quite a bit of water and quite a bit of soap. It has been sat there and I might have to squeeze it down. It might be moving around. I don't know. Let's just get lathering. I didn't squeeze it down very much and this is the proto lather and this Marlboro is just a fantastic scent and I have forgotten the notes on what's all in here I have forgotten my phone downstairs right I'm gonna to have to pause you guys so that I can tell you what well, now I feel especially stupid because I went to go get it and actually I could have remembered that bit. It's only cedar and sandalwood. <laughs> now I feel super stupid. Anyway, <laughs> I love the scent. It is especially nice. One of my favorite scents is actually the cedar wood. Sandalwood can be overpowering I have never bought a soap with only sandalwood so I cannot say as you see I'm just going round I'm actually being very gentle here um, just letting the brush do its job and the bowl do its job and I'm so gentle with this because this will overflow I've not added any water to this whatsoever as you can see it's still the same water and look at this isn't that fabulous already okay it's now coming to a really nice shine and it is building its way up to a super lava I have you know what the DR Harris product can be a little bit for a beginner on the pricey side but I have had this for so long and I've only used about oh, five not even five grams of a hundred gram puck so that makes the price very well worth it it's triple milled it the sensor have just so much depth and strength to it it's a five or a six on my scale from one to ten um, it's just lovely the post shave feel and the slipperiness with the protection is just well worth it so you're paying what you get for no you pay you get what you're paying for that way around <laughs> you see the heat is already scrambling my brain yeah, it's already started. Oh, this is going to be a fun day. Oh dear. All right, let's get this going. So I think we're done here. 
it has a lovely gloss to it this brush actually keeps so much lava it has a very nice backbone indeed and it is soft at the same time so let's get going i hope the dogs aren't going to be barking in the middle there's a lot of movement next door so let's get some of this cold chilton waters oh, and i'm going to enjoy this oh yes it's so lovely We've already had a host pipe ban, partial host pipe ban on. I can't believe it and it's only the beginning of the heat. Thank goodness I keep some of my rainwater and dishwashing water and any kind of water that I use during the day. I keep so I could at least water the new parts of the lawn where I had sown fresh grass and was getting really brown I was thinking that's not going to last me long so here we go let's change this round oh, let's see or well, maybe I have to step back today I don't know what I've done to the spacing of this Oh, this feels so good. This has an exotic smell to it. And it is as if you're walking. All over the wall. As if you're walking into a Moroccan bazaar. They have, the, well, the old Moroccan bazaar used to have these sandalwood screens and with the warm wind going through, this is the scent you'd get, you know, and it's just lovely. Where's my razor? I'm looking for the razor. Here we go. I have splashed the lather all over the wall here, all over my windows. Oh, never mind. Here we go. With the grain. As Jill says, hi Jill, north to south. This is super smooth, it just glides, and the blade is quite mild, which I like. Ah, oh, it feels so good. Let's get some more cold water onto here. Well, neighbor hasn't had many cars to wash lately, which is nice for me, because it's not as noisy with the pressure washer. For, for the making videos anyway, otherwise I can't care less. Okay, here we go. Second pass. This is not really broken in yet. With a broken in badger brush I can normally paint a lot better the layer is thicker but as I said it's not really broken in properly yet so second pass against the grain 
best if I take my hair out again. Here we go. It's actually fairly, it's early today, it's only quarter to 12. James has gone off to the hospital to get his cancer CT done, his checkup. There we go. Right. Ah, oh, this is so good. <laughs> hmm. Third pass. Just soap. Doesn't taste too bad actually. I've tasted worse soap. That's why I'm using also the Suribachi bowl today. It will break in the brush a bit more. You can see it's trying to, it's making more lather. I haven't added any more water whatsoever. There we go. Oh, now I've got my hands full of lather. Here we go. Against the grain. out the way Oh, look at me. I didn't notice. Look at all of this. <laughs> well, I made a nice mess of myself. Why didn't you tell me that I look so ridiculous? Look, look at this everywhere. My hair and my ears. <laughs> oh, look at this. Uh, well, I'll be smelling nice all day now. That's for sure. Well, oh, well, oh, well, well, well. Ah, so I still have quite a lot of lather in here and I have still some soap stuck to the bottom. I use too much as I normally do, but it doesn't matter because I will reuse that. So let's move on to just washing my face once more. 
get some of the residue off if there is any well that's felt super comfortable up to now and why shouldn't it here we go blot don't rub if you're using microfiber blot don't rub that's the way they work best unless you're trying to rub some dirt off but if you should have a weeper a creeper a little cut then definitely don't rub otherwise it's going to bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed and bleed there we go right next my old trusty aloe first really does feel great actually I should dry this a bit quicker let's, let's do the old twirl method Okay, that should do the trick. Should be dry enough, it is. So now I'm just adding a little bit of aloe moisturizing lotion. This is the inexpensive moisturizing lotion and it goes such a long way too. And I like its very delicate scent. Dissipates rather quick which is perfect also for men and children it's just got a clean fresh scent nothing more mmm this feels so good and I'm going to finish off with a bit of luxury perfume today and I'm just wiping off got a little bit of dust on the bottle with Dior Essence there we go I'll finish off with that and this is Order Toilette and this Order Toilette is so strong you don't need a lot at all this is super strong so that is me done for my luxury little bit of luxury shave today i hope you enjoyed it was lovely seeing you i bet you are watching too samuel hello and i'm looking forward to seeing you on wednesday again and hope you enjoyed my little corner in the internet missing you already see you soon bye bye